Get ready for the Samsung Galaxy S with the number 4 says Samsung. The HTC One wins the best mobile award at MWC, and we wrap up MWC 2013. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you can bet that I'm going to end this month with a good dose of beer. This is Pocket Now Daily. For those of you wondering what the Galaxy S4 branding would look like, well, wait no more. Samsung has just sent out press invites for an unpacked event to happen live in Times Square on March 14th at 7 p.m. Set your calendars and clock because we're going to be there covering it live. But the point being is that they're using the number 4 and wait for the next Galaxy in the invites. So for the first time, they're actually not going to be using a numeral. It's going to be the number 4 to be called for the Galaxy S4. So stay tuned and of course, we'll see you there. Now let's talk about HTC. Even though the company did not launch the HTC One at MWC 2013, they did use the show floor to demo the device and, well, they just won the best MWC award because, well, let's face it, it's a beautiful phone. It really is and it brings a lot of innovations to the table. We're still kind of skeptical about that 4 megapixel camera which will obviously prove once we have the device in our pocket now labs for review, so stay tuned obviously. We'll keep you posted if that camera is as great as HTC says it is even though according to them megapixels don't count. Now let's talk a little more HTC. If any of you like the features that come in HTC Sense 5 on the HTC One series, well, you're kind of in luck. And the reason why I say kind of is because if you're using an international variant of the One X, One X Plus, the Butterfly, and the One S, then you will be getting HTC Sense 5 in some time within the year. There are no dates confirmed, but sadly we still can't confirm that this will come to the carriers in the United States. And obviously we know how that works. It's not really HTC's fault, it's more the carriers carriers, but we'll keep you posted once these features and launches come because we're definitely waiting for them. And for all 11 of you that are having issues with the live tiles on Windows Phone 7.8, well, you're not alone. Microsoft has just confirmed that there is an issue with the live tiles and they're probably working on a fix sooner than later. Now, if you're not noticing any issues, that's because most of the problems are happening under the hood. Look at your data consumption because apparently it's taking up more bandwidth than it's supposed to. So we'll keep you posted whenever this update comes. Obviously, we will have a tackle at it, but so far, as always with Microsoft, you won't get any dates. And finally, for the both great and sad news of the day, MWC 2013 is now over. It's been a great week with tons of content to show you. Our own Michael Fisher and Anton Dinog did a fabulous job in building 35 awesome videos of everything that happened in the show floor. And you can obviously follow all of these in the playlist down below, but that leads you to the question of the day. What was your favorite device to be launched or shown off at MWC 2013? In my particular case, I honestly like the Galaxy Note 8 the most. That's probably going to be my next tablet. When it comes to smartphones, I'll admit that I'm waiting for the Galaxy S4 and see what happens there, but leave us a comment down below. Did you have any particular device that you liked at MWC 2013 or are you waiting for the Galaxy S4 as well? Leave us a comment. As always, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.